Kate, we're here at the Challenge Henley press conference, uh, a couple of days out from the race. I believe you're coming back from last year's race, which we had a DN DNF. Do you want to chat through that? Yep, I had a decent swim, came out the water feeling quite you know, strong and ready for the bike, got on the bike and unfortunately my chain snapped on about 14, 15 mile in, which uh, as any triathlete will know is pretty much game over, so I had to take myself back to the start um, and finished there, so I had to watch everybody else finishing, which was pretty demoralising. So. And you, you were chatting just briefly off camera before, you mentioned that you've got a coach now, um, are you coming to this race? In a, how have you approached this race differently from last year's race, other than obviously making sure your chain's okay? Well, my coach is actually racing, um, so hopefully he won't be lapping me so much that um, <laughs> that he'll be able to give me tips along the way. But um, his approach um, has always been sort of its structured program, rather than just doing what you feel like when you feel like. It's planning your program so that you know what's coming up. You fulfil a proper taper, something which I've never done before, um, and follow a structure. Um, so coming into this race I am tapering a bit more than I have ever done in the past and uh, I have also been structuring my training program a little bit better in the weeks leading up too. So. And obviously you did the swim last year, have you been round the bike course and spec'd it out and also the run course? I have, yep, I've got a friend that's doing the full distance, I have actually wrecked the course with her. Um, the, um, the bike course is undulating, nothing too incredibly difficult, um, there's a few hills in there, a few bits which you know you do need to sort of get into the small ring and sort of just power on up, but nothing sort of untoward, I'm quite looking forward to the bike, I do like the undulation, I like having the uphill with the downhill, uh, it makes it much easier than a purely flat course, um, and the run is flat along the banks of the Thames, so I'm looking forward to that because my knee's not been too fantastic, so the flat will be much appreciated. And we're in a lovely hotel in the centre of Henley, I mean, have you had a chance to appreciate much of Henley? Um, not today, no. Um, it is sunny outside, so I'm going to have a wander around now. Um, Henley is a beautiful town. Um, it's absolutely stunning. You know, you go past all these little sort of shops, cafes, um, really nice place to visit. So if I do have a DNF, not that I'm going to this year, I may well do that <laughs> in my spare time. I'm putting you on the spot. Have you got a time in mind for Sunday? Is there a... Have you agreed anything with the coach that we're looking to do? We haven't agreed a time, no. I'd like to do five, five hours 30. Um, that would be on track with what I was doing last year. We'll have to see. It's all about what happens on the day, unfortunately. Well, we wish you all the best and we'll be looking out for you on Sunday. Thank you.